Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very awesome dance tutorial video for OBS Studio. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys a dance effect that I came up with that I think is really, really cool. It's kind of a mixture of the uh, kaleidoscope effect, if you guys have seen people doing that. But the cool thing about this dance effect is that you don't actually need a green screen. This effect does look amazing if you do have a green screen. So if you have a green screen, this effect will be absolutely mind-blowing. But even without a green screen, you should get this to look pretty cool. So before we start, I want you to go down into the description of this video and I'll have a link here to stream effects for OBS Studio. Well, this will be linked in the description to the video as well as a video which will show you how to download and install plugins. So it's very easy to install OBS plugins. Um, just follow the tutorial that I linked below. Definitely get this stream effects tutorial because it's not just for this stream effect. This is so useful for so many different stream effects. You've also got to download these dance effect assets that I put on Mediafire. Um, it's just these two files. So one is just a trippy GIF that I got off Google Images, this one right here. And the other is just this video clip of just a color changing background, which you can loop. So these two effects, um, they have a lot of different purposes and these are what we're going to be using to make the cool, trippy, colorful dance effect. So once you've installed the plugin, I want you to open up your OBS and I've just got an empty scene here that we're going to start building from. Now the first thing we're going to do is add the display capture. Now the display capture you want to add is the one is what on whatever window is showing your OBS. So in order for this effect to work, you have to keep your OBS in the same place and you'll also have to be able to see your OBS because we're going to do a display capture um, and then we're going to get the region that has the OBS and we can make this really trippy kaleidoscope effect. So I'll just show you. This is the window that has my OBS on it. So we're going to select that one. So a little tip for you guys, if you hold Alt down and click the corner, you can crop very easily. And we want to crop just the screen region. We then want to make the screen region as big as we can. So you can already see that just with this green that's displaying, we, we're getting some pretty awesome effects. So now that we have the screen region capturing itself, we can go and add a face cam. So if we go into video capture device, we can add our face cam. I'm just going to call it face cam. So you can see we have our camera and it's over the top of our trippy display capture thing. So now I'm going to quickly show you one of the features of the plugin we just installed. Um, so if you look at the face cam, we actually don't want to do anything to our face cam, right? Because we might have our face cam in a bunch of different scenes and we don't want to start adding effects to our face cam. So what we can do is go add and then add a source mirror. Now a source mirror, basically what this is, is it just copies whatever you select. So if I go, if I call this face cam mirror, if I can type face cam mirror, I add it. And then what I can do is select my face cam as the source. So you can see here we have face cam source. So now we have face cam mirror, which is just, ex it's identical to my face cam. The only difference is if I add effects to the face cam mirror, so here if I go filter, let's just add, um, let's add a color correction. We say, let's say I just change the hue. This is an example. You can see I can change the hue of the face cam mirror without changing the hue of my actual face cam. So that's the advantage of using the face cam mirror. Um, you don't have to have the face cam here anymore, but you need to have face cam somewhere within your scenes or else you won't be able to use the face cam mirror. So because this is my only source, I'm going to just deselect face cam, click this little eyeball, which basically stops it getting displayed. And so we just have the face cam mirror. I'm also gonna make the uh, hue shift back to zero. You didn't need to add the hue shift. That was just an example. So now that we have the face cam mirror here, we can just add a chroma key is what we're going to be going for. So chroma key, which is what you would use if you use a green screen. So what you do here is going to be very determined by your setup, right? Um, so for example, depending on the colors in the background, depending on the color of your skin, depending on all these factors, you're going to have to uh, mess around with this and find something that looks quite good. Um, at the moment, it's going to start off looking bad until we add the final finishing touches, which is the really trippy color. So to start off with, let's just do anything, right? So let's just use this color green. You can use a custom color preferably, but I'm just going to use the default green. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to chroma key away some of the background. So you want to add the smoothness up a little bit. 
you want to add the similarity to where you can still kind of see yourself. Um, again, depending on your setup, this may look different. Um, so you can see that we have this sort of sort of falling effect. We can also adjust like the, the direction and stuff that it's moving just by moving the OBS window around and resizing the OBS window. So you can see right here, we got, we got this sort of falling cool uh, uh, like effect going on. So if you've gotten to something that looks like this, you're doing absolutely great. Now we've just got to add the uh, finishing touch, I would say, which is these trippy effects that I had in that media file folder. So the first one I'm going to add is just a color changing loop. Now this is just a video file. It's just an MP4 file of just a color changing effect. And what we're going to do is go into properties and click loop. So that way, when it gets to the end, it goes back to the start. And it's a seamless trend. It's a seamless uh, video file, which means that you can't tell when the video restarts. We're going to put that in front of our display capture, but behind our webcam. So you can see this looks pretty crazy right now. Um, we, but we're going to, what we're going to do is go into filters. And we're going to add a filter, which is color correction. Now, all we're using the color correction for here, you can hue shift the video if you want, if you don't like the colors. Um, but what we're gonna do is just lower the opacity by a lot. So we could lower it down to maybe like, maybe like three or something like that, five. Again, it depends on your setup, but you wanna have, so as you can see here, now I've got, instead of just the gray falling, you can imagine it like snow or something, I don't know. So this gray, bowling effect, we have um, colors now, which is awesome. Now to really add the icing on the cake we, cake, we also have this trippy effect. So instead of it just being a solid color changing, we can add the trippy effect here, which we're going to put in front of the, you can put this in front or behind the color change loop, it doesn't actually matter. But as long as it's behind the webcam, it should be good. Now, now if you hold shift, you can stretch the image. So if I hold shift, I can stretch this to be the full screen. And trust me, this will look a lot better than this in just a second. We're going to do the same thing that we did to the color change loop. And we're going to go into filters and add, because we're actually going to add three different filters to this. The first one is just the same as before. We're going to add a color correction just so we can make it opaque. Um, you can always tweak around with the opacity and stuff later. Now, the second thing we're going to add is a scroll effect. And the reason we're adding a scroll effect is so that the colors don't stay in one place. So we can make this scroll probably fairly slow. You probably want a fairly slow scroll. Um, and you might say, well, this doesn't look very good. You can see the seams on the edge of the GIF. Well, the final thing we're going to do, the icing on the cake is a blur. So it's very important that you put the blur after the scroll because that means that it, you won't see the seamless effect. So the order that you add effects is actually fairly important. If you add the blur afterwards, then it, it, it's going to blur. Like imagine it blurs every frame. So you're never going to see the seams. We can blur the seams. We can just do a box blur and we're just going to absolutely crank the blur up like this. So we have something like this getting displayed and you can see behind me, it's already extremely crazy, right? Um, you can also, you can blur it even more if you want. It's entirely up to you. You can do whatever you want with this. I'm going to blur it about, I don't like completely blurring it. Let's do it something like this. You can up the scroll speed if you want. It's entirely up to you guys. So you should have something that looks something like this. Obviously, depending on your setup, it might look a lot worse. Depending on your setup, you might have to change, for example, the chroma key on your on your cam. So the, the chroma key, um, you know, maybe try using different colors instead of green. You can up the similarity and up, up the uh, smoothness as well, depending on what you want. I mean, if you want it, I don't think you want it to look like this, but you probably want the smoothness down a bit. You can just find a nice balance between the background, because the more transparent you have it, the more trippy it will look. So right now it doesn't look super trippy. Okay, so the way to make it more trippy is just to up the transparency on your camera, but also up the transparency on these, on this GIF. So for example, right now I have eight. 
um, I could crank that all the way down to about two. And I could go to the, uh, cult, the trippy effect. And I could do the same thing. So instead of 15, I crank this down to like two or three. And you'll see that the colors are still there. It would just mean that I now, my, my body is way more trippy. So I think that one or two is probably the ideal amount for the opacity here. And then you can see that now when I move around, I've got a, I've got a little bit of a, a little bit of, I'm not sure what it's called, but a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a follow effect where the OBS window is capturing and displaying the older images of myself, right? Yeah, the last thing you can do is just move the camera around. You can adjust the, uh, adjust the window capture crop and adjust the, just the uh, size of the OBS and just get it exactly how you want. Again, this is a very loose tutorial. You can do whatever you want. You could add different video, um, video and trippy GIF effects over the top if you want, instead of, instead of, uh, the ones that I've given you, you can, um, completely adjust it however you want. You can even, you know, you could enlarge in the camera so that the uh, background's moving crazy like this. You can just blow it in your face. Um, or go the opposite direction if you want things to like look like they're going down a tunnel almost Again, it's completely up to you what you do I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if this tutorial helped you in any way Please make sure to leave a thumbs up and drop a comment below it actually really helps me out helps the tutorial get recommended to other people and it Just helps my channel out tremendously also consider subscribing if you want to see more of my videos and thank you very much I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day